All right, in this video, we are going to take a look at setting up a database. Now we need that database uh, with some data in it uh, for us to run select statements and things against. Uh, we're gonna be working with this for a while coming up in the course. And what I have on my screen here is some documentation from MySQL talking about their employee sample database. So this is a database that we are going to bring into our MySQL instance uh, that's running on our systems. And that the reason I'm using this is there's a, it's a, a not a bad database, but it also gives us some data to work with. So it's enough data where we're going to see some performance hits, uh, where index, uh, things like indexes, which like speed up your uh, queries, uh, are going to come into play. So it's enough data for us to do some pretty interesting things in analytics as we get into some more advanced features of MySQL. So as we learn the SQL language, having data in a database is going to be very helpful. That's why I'm selecting this database. And this is a very popular database to learn how to, to use. So let's take a quick look at this. Uh, got over here the employee's structure. And you can see here, this is the schema or the ERD, an entity relationship diagram. And we are going to be working with this. And we're going to learn how to do joins and whatnot and selects on this uh, whole set of data uh, that we are going to bring in. But first, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on installing it. Now, you can come over here to installation. And it does give you directions on how to do this. And it's asking you to do it from the command line. I'm going to show you how to do it from MySQL Workbench. Now, what I want you to do here in the course resources, you'll find a link to my GitHub account. And I've taken a fork from their GitHub repository. I forked it to my own in case I want to make any changes in the future. I don't think I'm going to need to for this course and everything looks pretty stable here, but just in case. Now, don't worry about GitHub. If you're not familiar with GitHub, don't worry about that. Uh, if you are an old GitHub guru, go ahead and just clone this repository because we're going to need to work with these files. If you are not, what you can do is come over here and just say clone or download and click on the download zip. And this is going to create a zip file, download it to your local machine. Now, depending on your in internet connection, this could take a little bit of time because it's um, like 35 megadata. So it's a, a good size file because we do have a, a chunk of data in there that we are working with. So once that zip file gets downloaded, what we want to do is come over and actually do the installation. And I'm going to come over here to MySQL Workbench. And let's go ahead and open up that file. I want to show you a little preview. So we are going to be looking at the employees SQL. And you can see here the dash dash is a comment. And you can see there's a lot of SQL here. Uh, we are not going to focus on that right now. We're going to learn all about this coming up in the course. But right now what we want to do is run this. You might be tempted to come up here and uh, click on the little lightning bolt to run the entire script. Uh, that did not work for me. But what we can do is come up here to file and then run SQL script. And I'm going to take that employee's SQL and click on open. And you can see here that uh, it's got the file up. We don't need to set a default schema because it, the script is going to take care of that, nor a character set. So we're just going to click on run. And right now, uh, you can see this is a little confusing because the script is actually running right now. So it says importing SQL or employees SQL, but finished executing script. Uh, it's actually running. So you can see that the window is still grayed out. It's actually executing in the background, uh, loading up that tables. Uh, it's actually creating those six tables, chugging along. On my system, it takes... Uh, about 35, 40 seconds to run. And you can see here that it did complete in uh, 30 seconds. Now I am running a pretty fast MacBook Pro here. Uh, if you're running slower hardware, it is gonna take longer because we're, we're actually doing quite a bit of work here. So let's go ahead and close that. And we can close the script here. And you can see nothing's here, but if I come over here and see this little circle here and click refresh, now I have an employee schema or an employee's database, depending on your, the terminology you want to use. And we come in here and take a look at the different tables. So we have departments, uh, department EMP, department manager, employees, salaries, and titles. So let's come back over here to Chrome. 
and you can see I want to take a bring up this uh, employee structure. So these are the that six tables that we're going to be working with. And you can see here the six tables are listed. Okay, so first thing we need to do to select some data out of this, we need to tell MySQL or MySQL Workbench which database to use. So what we're going to do is do use employees, semicolon, and that we have two lightning bolts here. One will run everything, one will run this where we're at. So let's use the one where we're at. And we can see that uh, we get down here at the bottom use employees. Now let's come over here and say select star from semicolon and we'll run this again and you can see now I get a listing of all the employees in here and we can scroll down there and we do seem to have quite a few records so I'm going to show you how to get a count and what we're going to do is and this is called a function. I'm going to say count select count like that and if, now if I run that we can see it took a little second there and we came back and we have 300,000 employees in there 300,024 so that gives us uh, uh, quite a quite a few employees to work with all right at this point our employees database is now loaded into our MySQL database so we're going to be working with this uh, going forward in the course Hopefully you didn't hit any problems. If you did, uh, please leave me a comment in the section and uh, myself or one of my TAs will help you out.